Hi, everybody. Welcome to a sticky situation. It is me, Tyra, AKA Sticky. How has everyone been doing? I know it's been a minute. And to be honest with you guys, I had actually contemplated not having a YouTube channel. I really did. Um, it just, I don't have the motivation to, I have a motivation to record videos, but I do not have the motivation as far as all the editing and all of the back um, backstage stuff that goes into having a YouTube channel. It's just not my thing, right? But something has been bothering me. And you know, I speak once again, you know that my channel is mainly about self-love, self-care, understanding how the law of attraction in the laws of the universe and spirituality, how it works in your life and being able to manifest the life that you want and how you play a probably the starring role in how your life goes, right? So one of the things, the reason why I started my channel was because I kept feeling this urge to do so. Um, but, you know, going back and not having the motivation and I never want to do anything half-assed. If I'm not going to give my all to something, I don't want to do it. So, um, but this gut feeling, this feeling that I need, this needs to be heard someone needs to hear this thought or this, I don't know the word I want to use. Is there something that spirit is trying to tell me? And I noticed on YouTube and the people that I was following or the videos that I was gravitating towards, it was young ladies that are in their 20s, early 30s. A lot of them have not been married. Um, they may not have children. Um, things, their life is very different than my life. Now, don't get me wrong. When I watch someone do hair and hair, it doesn't really matter to me what age you are. But I notice as a woman in my 40s, especially a black woman and a woman of color, my makeup and my skin care and my life in general is completely different than theirs. So I have not been able to relate to the people that I was following. So I went through and unfollowed a lot of people. Like I am down to like three channels that I follow. I know, um, like if I'm looking for a hair video or something, I'll just search for it, but I don't subscribe to those channels, which kind of sucks because they have really good content, but it was just, there was no need for me to continue to watch it because what I was finding mentally as I'm looking at these young ladies with their body types are different, their everything is completely different, their lifestyles, they're living these grand, going everywhere, traveling all around the world, um, shopping endlessly, lifestyles in my life is not set up that way, which is fine. You know, I'm in a different place. I've already been there. And I have children, I have work, I have school, things of that nature. Um, my priorities are just different, you know, and that's okay. Nothing against them. But with that being said, I'm like, where are all the over 40 YouTubers at? Like, do they exist? Black female YouTubers over 40 that isn't talking about I don't know, I don't really care for like the gossip channels and things like that or things that feel low vibrational to me. Um, it's good for entertainment purposes, but I'm not up on pop culture. So I don't really talk about stuff like that because it just doesn't interest me. I'm all about my life. And then you have to be very mindful of the energy that you are taking in because I notice a lot of people, because I notice this with my daughter, I notice people that tend to gravitate towards those reality shows and those blogs and 
things like that, those TikTok videos where everything is just kind of over the top and no judgment to them. But I notice the more negative drama, all of that that you're feeding into your brain, because remember the mind doesn't know that this isn't your life, that this isn't your reality. You start taking on that energy. Detox for a month. Give yourself a month of not watching any negativity whatsoever. Be mindful of what you take in and watch everything change. I promise you. So anyway, I'm watching these videos of these young ladies and I'm noticing I'm starting to critique myself or compare my journey to theirs, my current journey. And I'm like, why are you doing that? This is a 25 year old girl who I'm old enough to be her mother at this point. Why? are you comparing yourself to that? So I had to take a mental check and be like, mm, no, I want to see women whose lives kind of that I can relate to that resonates with me. And y'all, they, they are pretty much non-existent. I have scrounged YouTube at this point trying to find someone that is current because there are some older channels, but they haven't posted in a while. Um... <clears throat> But uh, it is few and far between. Not only over 40 women in general, that's all ethnicities and cultures. If you narrow it down, excuse me, and talking about uh, black women or women of color, it is pretty much non-existent. There's a whole demographic that is missing and I cannot be the only woman over 40 that feels this way that it is a completely, what's the word I'm looking for? Neglected demographic of women. And we make up a good portion of society, right? So where are, where, where's our voice at, you know? Because like I said, my life is completely different at this age. And to be honest with you, I don't envy the young ladies that are in their 20s and whatnot. I've been there, done that. To be honest with you, the way that I am now, I take this version of Sticky before I take that 20-year-old version of her. That 20-year-old version of her was, whew, she was a lot. All the way up until my early 30s and when I had what I call my awakening. Um... Mm, mm, mm. I don't, I don't want to go back. I love the way that my body looks now. I love the way that my face, my skin is clear. Just everything about my life is completely different than it was when I was in my 20s and my early 30s. Even though I had my children later, you know, even now parenting at this age with teenagers is completely different. And I'm thankful that I did have my children a little bit later. I wasn't like old, old, but I was almost 30 when I had my son. So I needed to find new people or I'm needing to find new people to find on YouTube. I found a couple of channels and I'll try to link them below. Once again, y'all know I'm not good at this backstory stuff, but I'm going to link them below. Some that I've found that I'm really enjoying their content. Some are beauty vloggers. One lady that I found today, she organizes, um, she's a professional organizer, which I think that's dope, right? I love organization. I am a true Virgo in that I love organization. I think it just helps keep chaos at bay. So um, with that being said, I kept like, where are these over 40 YouTubers at Instagram, TikTok, I don't do TikTok, I don't do Instagram, I don't do Facebook, but where are they? You know, where I know they have to exist, you know, over 40 fashion, because your style changes, you know, a little bit. Um, luxury, perfume, things that I really, really enjoy, or even just spirituality in itself. Where are those people? I don't even have any over 40... <clears throat> black YouTubers that do any type of devotionals, that do any type of, I don't like that in your face, you're guilty, you're guilty, you're sinning, you're sinning, sinning, religion stuff. I'm talking about a spirituality that is more peaceful, for lack of a better word. It can be rooted in scripture for me. That doesn't bother me, but 
you know what I mean. But there's no one. There's no one. There's a whole, like I say, demographic out there that is completely neglected. So, what does spirit keep telling me? Okay, well, if you don't see it, why don't you do it? You already have a channel that's pretty established. Maybe, maybe this is what I was trying to tell you and you weren't listening. You wanted to, yeah, do it. So here I am. First video I've made like in months, in months. And surprisingly, during this time, during this hiatus, I have gotten several subscribers. I don't know where you guys come from, but I appreciate you, which I need to learn how to look at my demographics and see who's watching my videos. I would be interested in that, but I got a lot of stuff going on, so I don't know. I don't want to dig too deep in it, but I'm going to do that. I want to see. But nonetheless, whoever you are, all my new subscribers and the ones that have been rocking with me for a long time, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope whatever I'm saying, it resonates with you and feeds your soul in some type of way. So, with that being said, as we move forward here on a sticky situation, because life over 40 definitely is sticky, we are going to be discussing all types of things that go on in this life, y'all. I mean, I create my own reality. I do. I create it, I work with spirit, the universe, God, the creator, whatever you like to call it that resides in you, that's who I work with. So a lot of that goes into, I choose wisely the thoughts that I think, keeping that mental space very, not very controlled, but very mindful of the thoughts that I am thinking and where are they coming from, things of that nature and the tools of working around them, but also acknowledging them and they're worthy, you know, letting them know, hey, I hear you thoughts, but you're just thoughts, right? And also the words that I speak, things of that nature in creating my reality. That is the basis of my channel. Every so often, I might throw in something because I feel like it is a, a betterment of someone's life over 40. So I do love to shop. Obviously, your girl loves nails, which I've done some reviews on that. Um, what else? Fitness, you guys know. Well, I never did post that video. Oh, I should probably post that video. If you guys don't know, um, those in my life who follow me know that I am a certified fitness instructor. So I do teach classes at our local YMCA. Here's so fitness tips on how I have been able to lose over 45 pounds and maintain that weight loss up until now. Um, in more than just weight loss, y'all. More than just weight loss. Um, hair, my hair is different. I am trying to embrace this gray, y'all, that's another thing that I was seeing. I was like, why don't, why am I continuing to dye my hair? I think I want to embrace my hair going gray. I'm getting older. I love aging. And I think it is such a blessing to get older and to watch my body, my face, my smile, my skin, everything transform. How wonderful is that? And if you don't age, that means you dead. I mean, it go hand in hand. You want to be alive, that means you got to get older. You got to get what, what the kids say. You got to get older, which I love. And as a black woman, I just think, I just love the way that my face looks and I feel more regal as I've aged. I just, I don't know. It's just something about it. I've always loved older people. Um, and I just look at them and the, it's just beautiful to me. It is something that I embrace. I know others may not and they try to do everything to fight that and more power to you sis, cause I'm all about whatever you need to do to feel good. But for me, I do love it. I love it everything about it, you know? So that's where we're going with this channel. 
you know, I'll throw in some reviews here and there. And that's what I was going with that thought. I'll throw in some reviews here and there, you know, just to something I think that you guys might like. I'm not doing hair reviews and things like that, even though you may see my hair look 50 million different ways. That is the beauty of being a black woman and wearing wigs and weaves and everything else. Um, but beyond that, you won't see things of that nature. I think that that area of YouTube is well established and there are some wonderful, wonderful ladies out there that do um, hair reviews, hairstyles, things of that nature. And so all you got to do is search the YouTube, you find that. Same thing with makeup. You're not going to see me doing my makeup. You might see me, well, I'll take that back. You might see me doing like a uh, get ready with me where I'm chit chatting with you guys about something as I get ready. But yeah, that's not what my channel is about. My channel is about lifestyle and more so about mental health and self-love and self-care. That is it. That is my way of feeding his sheep, which is what I received far as a message years ago, far as what my quote unquote purpose, which I don't really believe in purposes, but that is what I'm here to do. With that being said, I have rambled long enough. I really do miss getting on camera and getting my thoughts out. Those sticky thoughts, right? I know you guys love them. Um, so I'm going to try this. Between everything that I have going on, because remember I'm in school, almost done with this part of it. Then it's time for that PhD, but I'm doing really good. I'm all A's, so school is fine, but that takes work and a lot of time. I teach. I do have two kids, <laughs> believe it or not. I do have two kids. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, I work. I work a full-time job. Thankfully, I do get to work from home, so it's a little bit more flexible. And, you know, I'm not dating right now, but that is something I'm gonna be adding back into my life um, consciously, speaking it into existence. I think relationships is a whole different area for me. And I will, that's one thing I haven't really talked about on this channel, but moving forward, um, I'm gonna tell a little bit more of my story because a lot has transpired in my life in terms of my intimate relationships, my childhood stuff, all, oh God, it's it's been a lot that has been going on, which plays into the reason why I needed to take a break because it was a lot of things that I was needing to deal with. For you, those of you that don't know, I am in school to become a social psychologist. I thought I wanted to do clinical psychology, but I actually want to be a social psychologist because um, I love the aspect of how does society and culture play a role in our mental well-being. It does. The science backs it up. And so I'm going to be on the research side of that because a lot of theories and I know I'm getting off track but just to give you guys background on why I have the channel I do um a lot of background in psychology is not culturally based it's not it doesn't take in consideration different ethnicities and cultures and how to approach that so I think I, this is where I come in right <laughs> and change that up you know, to make things a little bit more culturally competent. They're trying, but a lot of the theories, once again, and the methods, it just don't work. So with that being said, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody that watches my videos, that subscribe to my channel. If you have not did so, I need for you to hit that subscribe button, especially if you are a sister or a woman over 40. You, we need to talk. We need to talk about this life over 40 and how fabulous it is. You know, it has its challenges, but it is good nonetheless. So hit that like button, subscribe, share my content. You know, one thing I'm very introverted. So it is scary to think that someone shares my video and someone way somewhere else is watching me, but I'm okay with that. I'm building that confidence that I mean, I'm confident, but even more confident to get put myself out there. So join me on this journey. 
as I revise the channel a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, the young ladies, y'all can benefit from this too because God willing, y'all gonna get to be this age too. And you're gonna need to heed this advice because as I tell my daughter, I've already been your age. You have not been my age. So I probably know a little something, 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 right? Alrighty, good people. I appreciate you. And in the meantime, in between time, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.